So we've already run this once. We've kind of got a little bit of an idea of where the meta is going here. I've got some changes I want to introduce here. So let's go ahead and make a few of those. Anger of the Gods, I'm going to go ahead and cut all three. And we're going to bring in three Slag Storms. I need to be able to punch upstairs when needed. We had a few games that were super close, and I think this is super important to have as an option. Let's go ahead and reorganize this as well so it's easy for viewing. So we're going to have Slag Storm, Season Pyromancers, Abrades. We have Bone Crusher. I'm going to cut a ritual. I didn't like making it all eight rituals, which was a full replace of the Simeon Spirit Guides. The reason I'm already disliking that is having a blocker is super nice. Ritualing out a Blood Moon is obviously nice too, but because of, because of this not being a creature, we're starting to feel the pain immediately of not having just that chump blocker every now and then. So cutting one of those. We've got 59 cards here. I'm tempted to cut a Magus of the Moon here as well, or at least put it sideboard. Let's cut two Maguses here, put them sideboard. This will be for Tron. Let's bring three Rabble Masters in. Starting to like how this is looking, being more aggressive. Being more aggressive feels like the right play here against some of the control matchups where we need to be doing better. Falcon Awakening down here. We have those rituals. How's this looking? 60 cards, 14 sideboards. I kind of want another Torp Orb. I feel like that's a way that a lot of creature decks and mid-range decks are going to get out of our lock. Having an extra Torp Orb feels kind of nice to bring those in. We have the three Rabble Masters main. I'm gonna cut a Slag Storm and pull the full four Rabble Masters main. And then with this, I'm gonna bring in kind of didn't like the boils either. I'm going to bring in something a little more unusual that we don't typically have in the sideboard. I'm gonna bring in one, maybe two pillages. I can then bring in anger and a Kozlik. Let's look at what we got here. Kozlik's return, and then cut a card. Yeah, exactly, quiet. You'll notice I'm playing Rabble Masters here, and that's why I'm wanting to go with the Slag Storms. I kind of want an extra Bone Crusher Giant over Season Pyromancer because of the way we're building this. That seems appropriate. This is starting to look a lot cleaner to me. Let's cut this pithy needle for now. Yeah, this is looking all right. This is going a little bit back to 2018 Pyro Prism. We've got Bone Crusher and Season Pyromancer added to the build, but I kind of like the Rabble Master plan here. I like cutting one of the rituals. I have 22 and seven, making it 29. This feels like we're going to have to adjust this ritual and land group here, I think. I think I like this. All right, let's give this another try here. Let's run this one. Let's go to the league. Let's see if we can get a clean league here as well without any jitters in the stream. We've got the right list here. Let's play some magic. If I go through this league quickly, maybe I'll get a third one, which would be nice because then I could upload two to YouTube, you know. I don't like the channeler list. Mr. Jangles knows this and a lot of the Pyro Prison community knows this from me. It's not my interest. You could definitely run it. I'm not saying don't run it, but I think, I don't know. I think there's better things to be doing than trying to throw a Chancellor in there. Do I usually upload the next day? No, but we're behind because of the weather. Um, because of the weather, I didn't have a stream on Monday, which would be going out tomorrow. And yeah, we're behind. <laughs> Normally I would record something or at least fix up some of the videos on Tuesday, which is my off day. Normally those would be going up too. And so losing those days kind of hurt us this week. 
We didn't make an extra video on the weekend because we knew that bands were coming on Monday and we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna play something new. Because last time I put like three lists out there, we played against the band card and people were like, what, this is old, why are you uploading this? I was like, I don't know, I tried to get ahead. That's what happened. <laughs> You enjoyed the YouTube deck tech? Yeah, we ended up trying to splice that together yesterday. That was fun. <laughs> There's just some of the stuff going on. We're going to see if we can get a full league here so it's super easy to put up on YouTube. We're having a little bit of trouble with our power, a little bit of trouble with the internet, flickering on and off, and with streaming. Hey, you want it? Anyway, let's, uh, let's keep this. This seems fun. Not quite turn one Blood Moon, but it's close. Uh, let's keep. Let's do Gemstone. I'm going to get rid of a Chandra here. Just keep kind of the lower part of the curve. And we'll uh, see if my opponent just accidentally passes back to us. <laughs> yeah, Red Green Prison is pretty good, I think. I think you could splash into that, but we're going to be exploring the Red Prison archetype for sure. Botanical Sanctum, there's a Noble Hierarch. We hit our land on curve here. Let's go ahead and get rid of Noble. My opponent, Gemstone Caverns, almost bamboozled me. Flooded Strand here. Let's see if we can get a Blood Moon to stick. My opponent will get to pick Plains or Island. This feels like Spirits, smells like Spirits, tastes like Spirits, might be Spirits. You also like that I started doing set reviews? Well, that was a one-off. I don't know if I want to continue doing that. So many people do set reviews out there. My opponent decides planes. Maybe they already have an island. Oh. Waterlog Grove here. We'll play a new Blood Moon. We're not going to do Season Pyromancer here because my opponent is Spirits and they can play the Apparition. Silly Red not pl playing Red. Selfless Spirit. We're going to throw out a Chalice on one. Chalice on one is here for Aether Vial. Plenty of time here. Self of Spirits. Opponent's got white creatures they can play. No worries here so far. Love to be able to play a Karn. No dice. Let's go ahead and now Season Pyromancer trying to get that land drop. Blood Moon and Chalice going away here. What are land drops anyway? <clears throat> <laughs> what are the land drops? Another selfless spirit from my opponent attacks for two. There we go. One. These are both flyers. I guess that's okay. Lose Karn, get bridge. That's probably okay to do. If they leave Karn alone, I can go get Torp Orb afterwards. So let's go ahead and get a bridge. Once we get the bridge down, we could try to get a Chalice on three, possibly. <laughs> I have two modes. Mana Flood and Mana Screw. That's, that's what we do here. I'm going to attack Karn here for some damage. This turn I'll probably play Rabble Master. This way we can attack back for oodles of damage. We'll worry about prison plays later. Look at that. Rabble Master working well against Spirits, even though that'll be the card we probably take out. We got a W. Here we go. We got a, got a W. All right. Anger, Magus, Kozlik Return, Pillage is a possibility here as well. Rabble Masters coming out pretty quickly here. Season Pyromancers are also okay to take out. Let's go. Hey, maybe Wizards will mess up and print a busted red card. Maybe. I don't know, though. By the way, I know about the Torp Orbs. Don't worry. We'll get to those. Let's mulligan this one lander. Let's keep this one. Let's do this. Bam. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Sanctum here. Blue. Wanderer. Cool. 
Yep, a braid versus stomp is relevant here. Definitely a true statement. The blooded strand here. We're gonna go get some basics, I'm sure. Oh, extra wander. No worries so far. First thing we're gonna do is chalice them blood moon, pillage away the land that matters or attempt to. They could counter. Chalice them one go. Do I ever play Legacy Red Prison? Very rarely. Hallowed Fountain. My opponent's not afraid of Blood Moon. I love it. That being said, they could attack me for a lot here. Double W, yay. Double W, yay. <laughs> All right, Skyclave here gets rid of Chalice. Pump, pump, hits for four. Blood Moon coming down. Pillage to take care of the snow-covered plains. We're getting there. We're getting there. Definitely try Blood Moon over Magus here, because Magus could get hit by a path. We can always play Magus and then do Pillage next if we wanted to. Pillage currently would get countered by both of these. Probably worth waiting just one turn. Hmm. We'll wait the one turn. I'm not too worried about white mana here. Got some flyers to deal with. They attack with everything here. We'll definitely block. I'm not getting anything with the Chalice, but I don't want to take the two. Skyclave gives us nothing. And now we pillage. Pillage away the planes. They can't counter this. We'll follow with a Chalice on one to stop Aether Vial. And now I just need to kill two Flyers. We have three turns to do so. Three turns. Too bad I don't play Pia Kiranalar. Where's my bridge? Nice. All right. Clock has been reduced. The clock is reduced. We smacked one wanderer. Five turns. For those going, well, you actually have six. Now I have five because they kill me on that last turn. We found a bridge. But Fluffy, you should have attacked. Nope. Not doing it. Mm -mm. Nope. I have a faster clock than him. Nope. Nope. Slower clock, stickball. Got the bridge. We're good. Got it. We got it all going here. We're locking them fully out here. Damage is not a win condition. Locking our opponent out is the win condition. Oh no. Oh no. I think. I think we need to share the chat here. Is Red Prison not a deck anymore? Well, I wouldn't be getting comments already about how miserable the deck is to play. Red Prison is alive and well. We're good. <laughs> Medic check on Fluffy. The deck, 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 deck. We locked him. We did it. We're playing a little quick, hoping that I can get through the whole league before Twitch disconnects again for me. Zale, you're cold too? We're all cold. Double W U. Double, double, you, you. The double. Double win. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. For those that watch the deck tech, you'll notice I'm wearing the same, same shirt because this one's warm. I needed warmth. Look, my hands disappeared. Going to play with no hands now. No hands. This is what happens to Fluffy when he's cold. Hey, thank you for the follow. <clears throat> what is that hype? Is that a hype one, Stickball? Hype yikes. Dude, that one looks cool. I'm like so energized because I didn't get to stream on Monday. Thanks everybody, by the way, for sticking with us because of the slight outages and the stream glitches and stuff. It's out of my control. It's out of my control. Let's keep a double one la double lander here, see if the braid's worthwhile, and we got the blood moon. Let's 
Fluffy new emote, the fiery snowman. What? Fiery snowman. What? Oh, the fiery. The fiery one. Dogfight. Give me the resub. 31 months. Oh my gosh. That's so long. Welcome back. Thank you. This mountain's for you. I'm trying to put it into play. This opponent is preventing me from celebrating your 31 months. Thank you and welcome back. Appreciate the support. Windswept Heath here for my opponent. All right, new match, new match. Gotta gotta braid this first first target. Don't be a Utopias Brawl, dang it. White. Hmm. 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 White. Nice, nice basic forest there. Prismatic Vista. Are we back to this list? All right, I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. Let's go ahead and lead with a Blood Moon here. Heliod combo. We're good for that one, but I don't think it is. It might be this Yurian thing. Nah, they didn't show Yurian. It's probably Heliod combo. How do we beat that, Russ? Super easy. Super easy. <laughs> we golden. Don't worry. Revving up the engines. I'm going to pass here with an abrade. I need a way to interact with my opponent. Collected company here. It might, it might not. Just, just chill, Russ. Look, it's a conclave here. I think I'm just going to let that stick there for a moment. Let it consider its life choices here. See what else they want to play here. Do we have Torpor? Yes. Look, Spike Beater. So this is infinite life. We're at 47 to 50. So I just kill this. I'm dead? How am I dead, Russ? I don't see I'm dead yet. I'm looking for it, though. We'll find it. We'll find it, I'm sure. I don't see it. All right, they can make infinite life. I don't really care about that. All right, we have the ritual. So I can ritual. They can make infinite life. I can shoot this. And then the following turn, Karn something. And paper, I would also not be dead. Anyway, they don't have a kill. Let's be real. They're not... Even in paper, I wouldn't be dead. Okay, I think... I think I want to go ahead and get the Chandra down here and down tick on the Spike Feeder. In a paper tournament, I would not concede right now. They would have infinite life and be like, cool, let's continue playing. Anyway, all right, Spike Feeder trying to kill that. They're going to do some life gain here. We're going to just sit here for a while. f 6 Exactly. I'm a prison list. I have Torp Orb and Dampy Matrix and Karn and Bridges. I assemble a lock and then I sit here and wait. And we'll be good. I can beat Infinite Life. And we play really fast. We have to be accepting of this potential patience that we need while playing prison. I get... Karn, Liquid Metal Coating, I knock them off Utopia Sprawl, we're pretty much game. Exactly. The round would be over, I'd win 1-0, and it would be a glorious victory. See? See, Russ? Don't, don't, don't come in here and tell me I'm dead. I'm not dead. Does Matrix stop Season Pyromancer from Yard? Activate abilities of artifacts and creatures can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. I believe so. But it's probably not, because it's probably on the battlefield. I'd have to go read the rules. All right, my opponent's pretty happy with being at, like, 60 life. Good for you. Let's continue playing Magic. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Onward with Magic. Let's go. 
What do we have as a follow-up? A new spike feeder. Sweet. All right. We're just doing this again, apparently. Take a land drop. That's not a very good land drop. Hmm... Hate this land drop. Um, let's go. Let's go up here and then just plan to play Slag Storm, Stomp or something else. If I miss three damage to each creature, pass turn. Trips. It's been all right. It's been all right. My opponent's gonna do this again. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit. The, the list has been fine. There's a few things that we're going to have to figure out. Oh, they just boom, boom. I like that. Good. We're going to have to figure out where the meta's going. We're going to have to tune to be probably a wider bunch of things that we're attacking. And that's okay. We can get to that. All right. So my opponent's giving me the turn back. This looks pretty good. We may have a collected company. Let's go ahead and gemstone down. Let's attempt Karn. My opponent appears to be F6 here. Get a liquid metal. Put the liquid metal down on their upkeep. We're gonna shut down the forest here. And we should be good from here to win the game. We'll just have to play very quickly. Shouldn't we, like, no uptick to draw with Chandra? <coughs> Excuse me. No up, not uptick with, to draw with Chandra? Oh, probably, yeah. We have a little bit of room. We don't, we don't have a lot of room, but we have a little bit of room. We're going to make mana probably from here on out. Let's go ahead and make mana here. Let's put bridge down. We'll probably do a season pyromancer here as well. Oh, I shouldn't be casting season pyromancer. You're correct. All right. Well, we beat him on lands, but we've actually gone further down, so we'll have to win through Chandra. You wouldn't play the Season Pyromancer because you don't need to because of the land stuff happening. Anyway, my opponent gives me the concession. We don't play the Season Pyromancer technically. We play the Rabble Masters, what we should be doing there, and we should be fine from there. Anyway. All right. So, Magusin, Kozlix, Anger, and... Let's pull out Season Pyromancers in this matchup. We're paying attention to, to chat more than we should. Let's go. Um, pillage is okay. I'm not going to bring pillage in. I know you're probably thinking destroy a land. But this is probably not the matchup for it. No. Oh my gosh, you people. Please don't do that. Let's not do that yet. Let's, let's, let's work out what we have. Maybe, maybe just the few days off have been muddling my brain. It's so funny because I talked out the previous line and then played the season Pyromancer. All right, we'll keep this hand. Let's keep. All right. Let's go here. Match two, game two. Temple Garden tapped. All right. Just play our lands, work our way up to Magus of the Moon. 
And we'll see what goes on here. How do you find streaming affects your overall energy and mood? Is it good, bad, or indifferent? It's actually a lot better. I'm actually was antsy on Monday because I didn't get to stream. My wife knows this. But I think in general, it's helped me have a more positive attitude. That being said, sometimes chat likes to be aggressively negative. They like to test me, I think. The Oriok champion. We can deal with this. We have Kozlik. We have Kozlik. Let's go ahead and work our way up to a Magus of the Moon. No more green creatures. How's my back? So much better since I uh, got this chair. Posture check. <laughs> From someone that didn't even ask. All right, we're doing Magus now. I know I've got these Slagstorms and Angers, but we're shutting them off green. I'm gonna see if we can prevent some things here for a little while. Put on attacks for one. We could always actually play Rabble Master and have some fun with Oriok triggers. <laughs> I think I just attack here and we just work back and forth with potentially using Slagstorms to do the extra little bit of damage and race this. As silly as that seems, it is a line right now. Uh-oh, double white. Now it's not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> All the odds shown up. They attack for one. There's a Karn. Okay. So we can slam down Karn here. If we do that, we stop a walking ballista. I can down tick, go get something. The question is, what do I go get? I could go get a walking ballista of my own. I think I like the idea of getting a walking ballista of my own here. You want coding and I want something that deals with Oriok Champion here. I'm gonna go get the walking ballista and pass the turn. They play a creature here. I don't know. I, I think Ballista is the correct line here. Because if they play their own Ballista, we need our Ballista to kill this. Then we can play from there. They could have a Skyclay Operation. They're going to give this Life Link, which is going to give it an opportunity to grow. When they attack, they'll attack Karn here for one. Gives me an option to go down again, but I'm going to be going up. We'll use Walking Ballista to clear the Oriok Champion. So, Walking Blist on two. Only line here to play, I think. Shoot this. Before it gets too big here. They gain the life, and I shoot in response. We'll hope they have no way to randomly grow it here. That's the hope. Okay. Up with Karn. We're not quite ready to cash in Karn here. Walking Ballista is still a threat. Attack with Magus for two and pass turn. Seems good. Uh, Torpor would start off for Trigger too. Yep, we can get around to that. I think this line's been the best though. We just need to find something here to shut off. Like Skyclave. So this is probably a set stop here. Go get... Liquid Metal is probably the safest thing. Play Chandra, Uptick, play Liquid Metal. Shut off a Plains on their turn and, and go from there. Unban Simeon for Mono Red only. <laughs> it would be interesting if they eventually opened it up that you could play things in certain shells. But I, I don't think they'll go to that. Chandra Coding. Chandra Coding shut off a Plains here. They'll need a second Plains, and Skyclave looks like they're only out. It would be interesting, Zale. I'm not saying it would be correct, but I'm just saying it would be interesting. All right, opponent concedes because of the lockout prison again. Interesting start. Interesting start. No, they will never go to that. What they could potentially do, and hear me out, they could potentially build into a gauntlet style league where they pick and choose 
decks with banned cards in it, but balance it in such a way that it makes like a cube modern deck choice. And you could pick it and battle against decks that have all been balanced against each other and go from there. That could be interesting. Could be interesting. Would they ever play Red Prison in that? I don't think so. How does Red Prison feel post Simeon Spirit Guide? Very much the same, except every now and then we would like a monkey blocker instead of a ritual so far. We're going to mulligan the one lander. All right, we'll keep the chalice on one on turn one. I guess because I have a bridge here, maybe I just ditch the slag storm and the Chandra and try to go all in on monkey beats and have bridge here as backup. Oh my gosh, what's with all these prismatic vistas? People, stop. Oh my gosh, it's this deck again. All right, let's throw a chalice on one. Pass turn. Let's get rid of this upkeep stop. All right, we're against... I say this deck, but then they didn't declare Urien, so I don't know what they're playing. I don't know what they're doing. Let's 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 sit back and relax here. Who needed lands anyway? This has probably been our biggest problem is hitting our land drops for some reason. What if they made a spirit guide type card where you had to discard a card to exile it? No, that's like too much. That's that's too much. That's too crazy. All right, we're going to lead with a Rabble Master here so that we can attack Teferi and keep Teferi in check. Regular size, Jesse, welcome back. Prime sub, 11 months, almost at the year. Ad nauseum is dead, your baby. Long live prison. Bounces Chalice. Cares about Chalice on one. Sort of, maybe. This actually unlocks car and down take go get Pithy Needle. Ooh, Thoughtseize. Oh, oh. Put that away. Do you want this chalice or do you want this card? <laughs> do you want this Karn? <laughs> Honestly, for Red Prison, we're still laughing. We're still having a good time. We're still getting Blood Moons and Chalices on turn one. We just did it in this game. It happens. And it's even that much more special. Another Abundant Growth. Opponents making the manas, making the colors. What is this? Oh. Oh, Valky. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello. I know what this, this list is now. Let's send in some goblin tokens. Okay, so how do we stop Bring the Light here? Um... Let's put a chalice back down on one past turn. This is a little awkward here. Tybalt is scary. My opponent's got bring the light shenanigans they can do. Yeah, bring the light Valky. Easy chalice on four. It's gotta be a chalice on five for bring the light. Or Niv Mizzet. Oh my gosh. Save us all. What do you get with this? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Blood Moon pretty good in this matchup. Basics. So what did we get? Puts Lightning Helix to hand. Bring the Light. Assassin's Trophy. Not the Blood Crypt, not the Extra. It's a Fairy, not the Abundant. So this is now all in their hand. I'm gonna die. That was a really good spin with Niv, you're right. Um, I don't know if I can beat this. <laughs> At the current results, I don't think I can beat this. We're in danger, we're in a lot of danger. This is a, by the way, I will say this. I would actually wouldn't mind them keeping the Bring to Light and Valky thing going. We can kind of monitor it. 
but I really kind of enjoy this as a bring to light deck. This is sweet. Like this kind of stuff was suppressed by the crazy stuff happening before. And like, this is where modern should be at. Don't know if that's a little dangerous on the edge of being a little p powerful. I don't know, at five mana, the other side of Tybalt's not too crazy. And you have to assemble f five mana. I don't know, something to consider. Opponent Helix is away our Rabble Master, Prismatic Vista getting another basic. Apparently they're just gonna play all basics. Plays Teferi, bounces the blood. Oh, I was gonna say bounces the bridge, but they don't. They bounce a token here. They have this Assassin's Trophy for this at some point. I suppose I can stomp to Fairy here and play Bone Crusher Giant, but I think we're pretty dead here. This is going to be a hard one to beat because they have so many ways to interact with all of our lock pieces. Yeah, exactly. This has just four Bring Delights. Helix. They're just an Assassin's Trophy away from then attacking me for six in the air. Which they decide to do. Which I appreciate. Bring to Light can go get a new Valky, which gets rid of our bridge. They attack me for six. I don't think I have an out here. That'll not do it. So real quick, they attack for six. They attack for six again. I'm going to go ahead and concede this. But Bring to Light... Would go get the other side of Valky, which has an exile artifact or creature. I'm just not getting there with these next couple cards. We don't have an out. I have Valky PTSD. <laughs> All right, this is definitely a Magus, potentially pillage matchup. Let's bring one Torp Orb in. Bring the spyglass in. So slag storms out. Probably the abrades. Well, I know it's all basics, but uh, we have the ability to get blood moon out on turn two. We're gonna leave all the rituals to give us the best shot at doing that. Probably just cut a chalice here, and then like one other card. Which might be just like a Bone Crusher Giant. So bringing in the Magus and Blood Moons, Torp Orb to stop ETBs, Spyglass for naming, Prismatic Vista, Teferi, or Valky, or Slash Tybalt, and Pillage to help us with some of the Blood Moon once we get that down. Let's give it a shot. It's a lot of basics. We gotta, we gotta play our game plan, though. I don't think we're gonna run over this opponent. All right, we'll keep this. We have Chalice on one plus Torp Orb. We'll play uh, probably probably Chalice first, then Torp Orb. They might have a Thought Seize. They have a Thought Seize. I don't know what they take, though. Is there a Red Forest hate card in Modern? No, I don't think so. I don't believe so. I know there's Brushfire for plains and boil for islands. I don't think there's one for forests. I could be wrong. Wow, they take pillage. Look at that, they took pillage. Probably because they have ways to get rid of this chalice. They'll have ways to get rid of Torp Orb too. We'll throw a chalice on one first because of Thoughtseize. We want to get the Torp Orb down. They could have like an Assassin's Trophy. They could have a lot of things. Oh. Okay. Ooh, Blood Moon first. <laughs> Blood Moon first. On turn three. Nice. Oh, Forest. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. All right, we're not quite at crazy problems for Torp Orb, so let's hold that. Play the creature, pass the turn. They do have Abrupt Decay type of mana. This is why I would like to have been able to pillage. We can Karn down to go get Liquid Metal. That's a possibility. I'm gonna play the Godless Shrine first, then Abrupt Decay or Assassin's Trophy. Or at least that's what they were kind of suggesting. Mm. 
they, yeah, they, one, they still need an island, two, they need five mana. All right, we attack for six, put them to 10 here. I'm going to go ahead and play the Torp Orb. This is in case they have an Abrupt Decay or an Assassin's Trophy here on the Blood Moon, plus Island or an extra land. They floated green-black earlier, so I figured they might have it. <clears throat> they knew we had four drops here, so I like this Assassin's Trophy being played at our end step. Opponents unlock their mana, and they have plenty here. They might have a Torp Orb Killer here. They do have black, and then they had green here for another Abrupt Decay or Assassin's Trophy. Prismatic Vista here, fine by us. Fetching, probably basic island or plains. There's the plains. Now we have a Bring to Light, which we can do for five. This is Helix mana, this is K Command mana. Deafening Clarion is the choice. All right. Let's see here. We could Karn. Karn's kind of an interesting one. I could Chandra and go up. I sort of like the idea of Karn here. Only for four. Islands, black, green, white. Or this is black, white. Yeah, they don't, that's right, because they have black, white, black, white here. You're right. I kind of just want to play Chandra here, honestly. I don't think I need to go get my uh, Karn here. Let's just play Chandra, uptick Chandra to do damage. Put them to seven, then to five. This just puts them to three. We don't have Slagstorm, it's sideboarded now. Up for damage. I like skipping over a ritual, that's fine by us. Pass the turn back. What else do you have, Ahura's opponent? This is a matchup where I wouldn't mind an Eidolon. Eidolon would be pretty good to have. Are we gonna go get Valky here, or are we gonna go get Niv-Mizzet, which is just a 6-6? Six, six? Well, we're going to have five mana here. Bring the light. Going to do something with it. Oh. Omnath. Oh. Hmm. Well, I have to kill this. Because this gains them life. And that's problematic. So let's kill this, let's play a Karn, and let's pick a fun card to go get with this Karn. But what is that fun card? Maybe it's just Walking Ballista. I kind of want to do this Walking Ballista. Let's do Walking Ballista. Let's do that. They're at seven. This would put them to five, four, three, and then, yeah, what you're saying, the extra three damage kind of makes sense. Liquid Metal Coating's kind of interesting because I could take them off of a pillar, which makes things in the future not as scary. There's a Teferi. Bounces Chalice on one. Helix, the Chandra, and then Thought sees me. They're doing it all. Oh, they didn't. Okay. So... Four, one, two, three, four. We're gonna go get... I believe I have Pithy Needle still. Do I not? I have a Liquid Metal. Dang it. Thought I had Pithy Needle. I brought that in, didn't I? So we play Liquid Metal. Pyretic Ritual, Walking Ballista, Ping to Fairy, play Liquid Metal Coating, go to Upkeep, and hit the pillar here. Messes with their mana again. 
And then I can attack with Walking Ballista, potentially attack with one of the pieces here, play Chandra, get the Magus down. There's a Teferi. I'm almost hoping they bounce with this, but they'll probably not bounce. They bounce Torp Orb, okay, because they're going to Thought Seize this away now. I don't think I have to replay Torpor, but I actually kind of want to put a Chalice on two. Hmm. I want to play the Magus too. So let's talk briefly about some options here. Obviously, Abrupt Decay and Assassin's Trophy is a problem, but so is Helix and Deafening Clarion. And those are activated by a Plains, which makes me sort of want to go ahead and get rid of the Plains over the Swamp. But maybe I get rid of the Swamp. At this time, though, they can do anything with Pillar. I don't think I care about a Teferi anymore. I'm going to hit the Swamp because I think that's more correct here. I'm going to go ahead and Chandra now and Uptick to go get Magus and then swing Walking Ballista at Teferi. This line to me makes the most sense. I get them off of Black for Thought Seize. Torpor probably doesn't need to show up here. Helix is a problem briefly, but not that for that long. It's an abundant growth. We can get rid of that. And obviously I can follow this up with a chalice. So I've got any color now, making red. Makes green. Four colors, hunt mass, hunt master of the bells. What up, hunt master? How you doing? Okay. So Let's transform's kind of frustrating. Um Yeah, I can kill it a few different ways, just trying to decide what's the best way to do it. What else we have in the sideboard? Okay. I could pump Walking Ballista a whole bunch here and then just take out a land for the turn. I kind of like that play. I could also down tick here. But going up here is presenting potentially lethal in the future. Let's go up. Let's Pump Walking Ballista twice here. Play our lands. Let's shoot down the multicolored land here. Let's get rid of Huntmaster and pass the turn with a chump blocker for the wolf. That is not our Magus. We might have to just defend Karn and Liquid Metal Coating, but we're also threatening Chandra all the way up here, which I think is is fine to do. Here comes a Helix, which we would lose Karn to, but that would be okay. Helix is Magus. All right. They unlock their mana a little bit here. It's not crazy unlocked. Besides to attack Karn here, I'm going to let this ride. Okay, let's get rid of Pillar. Pillar. 
Let's go up with the Chandra, still threatening to kill them next turn with spells. It's a ritual effect. Let's go ahead and... Let's just hang out. They gotta deal with Chandra. Pump walking ballista, block the wolf, no problems here. Chandra emblem and spill, spill the hand. They need a way to attack Chandra here. Three mana, very Teferi-esque mana. Very Teferi. I think they lose here. They go to bounce here. We're going to put a token or a counter. Double shoot the wolf here. Don't care about the Teferi. We should be good to go. We have three spells, even if they thought seize us. <clears throat> so if they thought seize us, which they can't, but if they could, let's just go with that line. They take a spell. We then Karn down tick after emblem, and we have three spells. Looks good. Sweet. We figured it out. We figured out the line. I don't know what I want to do here. I think I want this Bone Crusher back. Ow. That hurt. They really didn't like the idea of the pillage, so I'll keep that. Wonder if I could cut one bridge here and bring like Bone Crusher in or the Abrades. Maybe the Bone Crusher makes sense for one of these. What's up, Double B? I'll take a look at that Enduring Idealist maybe near the end of the stream if that's okay with you. I don't think I need bridges and having another spot removal for that Hunt Master seems good. I like that. Let's go. Let's go. Nice zero lander. <laughs> it's a zero lander because it's gemstones. We're going to mulligan this. Even though the gemstone's nice on the draw, it's not good to have two of them. Not looking like a good hand. This hand, though, looks pretty good. We'll keep. We'll get rid of a ritual effect. And let's, uh, let's see if Blood Moon on turn two works. Breeding pool for my opponent. Probably using that abundant growth stuff. Yeah, that's what they're doing. We'll play our mountain pass turn. There is no way to play it on turn one, Blood Moon, unless you have the gemstone. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Mountain's good to see here. Well, turn two, Blood Moon. Strong enough. Don't have a counter? I don't think they have counters. Don't is it charm me. Whew, okay. Whew. No is it charm, thank goodness. We dodged. Layers, this is now a mountain. Welcome to the mountain clan. We'll probably put the chalice on one in case they find a basic forest here. I don't want them to unlock what they're doing. We could also wait for chalice on potentially two for assassin's trophy. But they're gonna need two, two lands for that, so. We'll put the Chalice on one. I know this doesn't like end the game any faster, but I think this will prevent enough things from happening that the Season Pyromancer will be fine next turn. My opponent's testing their mana each turn. I like it. It's good, good. Um, I want to do this on two, but I feel like we need to end the game now. Let's not get aggressive or greedy. There we go. Great, great couple cards there. Land's fine here, and the Bone Crusher Giant's gonna close this game out. Woo! We did it. We did it. We did it, team. How do they win without Uro? They're not playing Uro. They're playing Valky shenanigans. Sweet. All right, we're going to keep going, Double B, because uh, we've had some stream issues, and I want to get a full league that's not needing weird edits. That way I can upload that for YouTube and try to keep our YouTube uh, daily upload streak going. So play Lucky 7 again. This has actually been trimmed from Lucky 7. Appreciate that, Double B. And if you have to go, you can always we can always hook you up with another review a little bit later. This is league number two, Corey, yes. This will probably be the only other league I'll be able to get to 
go through today just because of stream issues, power, and other things like that. Trying to keep the YouTube video clean, yeah. I'm really, I'm gonna try to splice the other one together and maybe get it up there. I might talk to the wife about letting me record a video tomorrow. We have a YouTube daily upload streak that's been live since September 1st of last year. And it would feel really awkward to break that, but you know, winter storms and all kind of happened. We're currently 3-0 playing Red Prison here, going into match number four, getting things done without our monkey and getting taunted by the monkey. My opponent is an Obosh list, which typically means prowess. We have a chalice and it happens to be on turn one. We're gonna keep this. We have the gemstone caverns, Chandra out of the way, and let's make it happen. Turn one chalice on the draw. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's lucky seven rituals. Truth, truth. Chalice on one, go ahead, prowess. Do your worst. They're like, what are you doing? I'm prisoning. <clears throat> I'm prisoning. Stomps us. How rude. I might actually wait to do this Chandra here. Or wait to do this Slag Storm. I think I will now. We can Pyretic Ritual into Chandra. I feel pretty safe here to just go up for damage. I'm hoping they play land and then Bone Crusher Giant and I slap them with Slag Storm. Hurry and win two more times. All right, this is looking fine here for the Slag Storm as well. Oh, that's true, Zale. It didn't. Lava Dart and a Swiss Spear. Opponent's got the one, two going in at our face. I love it. Ignoring Chandra. All right, let's go ahead and slag storm this board. Let's go up for damage, pass the turn. Looking pretty good. We got this weird bone crusher giant about to show up. Wait, no. No, we're good. We're good, Zale. Don't worry. We have we have our own bone crusher giant now. 3 damage. I'm going to play bone crusher giant into play, by the way. For those going, no, oh, leave up stomp. Gonna have a blocker here for the sweet Chandra. No, Zale, no, 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 we're good. We're good, we're good, don't panic. Don't panic, Zale, we got the chalice on one. The blessings of chalice on one, there's a bridge. All right, Blood Moon's come out for this matchup. This is one of the few matchups that I'm happy to take those out. Kozlik's return, maybe Pillage, maybe this Anger. Pillage seems dumb. Take that out. Um, <laughs> Pillage seems dumb. I'm not panic. Kozlik, Anger. Just Magus as a blocker, maybe? All right, I can get behind that. We keep bridges in on like against burn. We've got the side storms. We're bringing two more wrath effects. We like our chalices. We know they're going to bring in something that's going to blow that up like shattering spree. Just got to live with it. I think we're good. Zale, when are you going to bed? How fast do I got to get these last two matches in? How fast? There's a Kozlix return, that's all right. <laughs> 15 minutes ago, no! All right, we're gonna keep this for Zale. <laughs> we have a Wrath effect, that's why I'm really happy with this one. My opponent doesn't do anything here on turn one, that's excellent to see for us. Apparently my opponent's just not gonna play Magic, so we'll just hang tight with them. The longer this game goes, probably the better for us. Okay, return not effective against their deck. They play it in the side. I don't want to kill a creature. I don't want to kill a Swiss Spirit or a or a uh, or a um. Oh my gosh! What is the other one drop? I have literally just forgotten my mind. 
It doesn't trigger their prowess. Soul Scar Mage, thank you. Oh my gosh. My brain just destroyed itself. Just making a blocker here for the Bone Crusher Giant and passing the turn. Oh my gosh. This is what's happening. It's too late. Out of practice. We don't know what magic is anymore. I'm not going to block this. I'm going to just pass the turn, take the light up the stage to the face. I'm <clears throat> doing this because I could cause looks to return in the future. There's the light up the stage. It's Bone Mat Monastery Swift Spear. This is looking okay right now. Raging Goblin. Pillage is me. Oh my gosh, that's so rude. I guess we'll just hang tight here. Now we could like potentially cause looks to return. They're gonna like Swiss Spear, Bowmats, Prowess, boom, 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 block. It's gonna be fun. Plays a land, plays a Bowmat. Come on, do it. Do everything. They play Pillage because I'm playing artifacts. It's not too frightening. There's a Lava Dart. Oh, they're going after the, the Magus here. Let's let's blow up the world. Let's attempt to blow up the world. They have to have another instant speed spell. Boom! Blew it up. Huh. Got him. Wish I had a batter skull on the sideboard. Alright. Karn here. Down tick. Go get bridge. We've gotta stop the Bone Crusher Giant. Pass the turn. We'll see if they go ahead and attack here. Firebolt's me, down to eight. Land. Tax for four, I'm at four. This puts me to two. Need like a chalice. <laughs> I gotta use the firebolt, puts me to two. Chalice. Okay. Hmm. This kills Bone Crusher without dying. Hmm. I'm very much dead here soon. So Chandra, down tick, kill Bone Crusher. Down tick with Karn, go get like Walking blister or something. Land past turn. Hope they don't have a Swiss spear, haste creature, bolt, fire bolt. That's okay. <laughs> Except for the draw too. Don't have any form of burn. Oh my gosh, they had to draw with fire eyelet. I'm gonna live for one turn. Plays a mountain, plays a soul scar mage. Oh my gosh, I'm not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Oh, we're alive. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, four, one, two, three, four, five. They have lava dart. This prowess, that's a problem. I wonder if I can empty the hand here. Okay, they lava dart. Chandra. It's two damage, not to me. So I can't get empty handed because I ended up drawing a mountain. How much can I do here? So, one, two, three, this makes a bridge. One, two, three, four, this makes a two, two walking ballista. Okay, and I uptick the bridge. <clears throat> ballista for three blocks for a turn. Ballista for three could get killed. Like, you have to block here. You have to hope that two hits here and one hits here, and if they have any spell. I mean, if they have any spell, we're dead anyway. Pillages my bridge. Well, that does it too. <laughs> Block here. 
shoot this twice. I guess I don't concede just yet. I don't concede yet. Blast zone. Okay. So I have to block here and shoot Season Pyromancer twice. <laughs> this is this is not happening, but we're trying. I take one from Elemental. I'm at one. I'm at one. Not dead. <gasps> Bridge. Oh my gosh, am I alive? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Obviously, I don't want to really get anything. I guess I could cash in this Karn here for a Tormod script just because it's free. One, two, three, bridge. One, two, three, four, Karn, Tormod's Crypt, go. Um, This Karn needs to go up. Get rid of Season Pyromancer tokens. I don't know. I don't know. Woo, we did it. We're live. <laughs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah, blast zone was the next thing we had to take care of. All right, opponent wins game two. We got to go to game three with our lovely friends over there. Um, and I really don't have anything else to bring in. We don't have any life gain in the list. We're just gonna have to rely on on a chalice, and we know it's pillage. We know pillage is how they're getting rid of this. This is tough, this is a tough one. Not having a quicker chalice means we're gonna take usually a little bit more damage. It's a tough one, I like it though. Challenge. Let's play first. Obviously. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I wanna mulligan this. Three, four, five. Three in season. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it here. They're gonna probably try to find that pillage. Maybe the season pyromancer will make enough blockers to make it really awkward for them for a little while. If this matchup becomes more relevant for us, we're gonna probably maybe look at life gain like batter skull being put back in the list. That's not a very good draw. I'm going to pass the turn here to see if I can get them to commit like another fast creature. I'm going to combat. I'm going to combat. I'll take the one. There's a light up the stage. Mountain Mountain is what they found. That's pretty good for them. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and just naturally play Season Pyromancer now, getting rid of Gemstone plus Ritual, perhaps. Maybe double Ritual. Let's do Gemstone and Ritual. Okay. See, this is where like a Mana Monkey would be a little bit better that we've noted down. When it plays the other Mountain from Light Up the Stage. Got some chump blockers here. Got a kind of a decent one because it comes back later too. Let's go ahead and block with everything here, see if they want to somehow save their Soul Scar Mage. Lava Darts the Elemental. Fine by us. Can you commit something else to the board, please? Answer is no. Oops. Well, apparently I'm just going to do another Season Pyromancer here. I'm not going to try to burn some Ritual Spells to get more things here. Not yet. Cool. A couple more blockers. We'll pass the turn. We're at 19 to 20 and we're entering turn 4. This is really pretty decent where we're at. 
Not a lot to be worried about. Firebolts, Season Pyromancer. This is damage going to Season Pyromancer and not to my face. Easy chump block territory now, keeping the elementals alive. Chump. Easy there. Could be even a Chandra down tick at this point. Plays Sunbaked Canyon here. Do we have a follow up? Season Pyromancer. Definitely looking like a Kozlix return. They have a Lava Dart over here. I'm just going to Kozlix return because they look like they f 6 Poor person. We're going to Desperate Ritual play a Magus out just because they have a Sunbaked as well. They would keep as most Soul Scar Mage around. If they were to use that Lava Dart, maybe they're trying to work towards Obosh. Fifth land. Okay. Firebolt is available to them if they'd like to fire it at Magus. Again, we're at 19 to 19. Feeling pretty good. Firebolt's Magus. Totally happy with that. Um, let's get down to Chandra here over the Season Pyromancer, up for damage, and just pass the turn. I'm going to hold Season Pyromancer. I'm not going to use the Chandra there to draw with it. I don't want to. I want to potentially get a token out of this. Bridge would have been a nice one to hit. Opponent attacks Chandra. I also want to do some damage to my opponent. This game's coming down to damage. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Well, he drew into a braid. Not bad to see. Let's go ahead and season Pyromancer now. That makes this look awkward, but oh well. Hey, never mind. All plan. Chalice on one. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> it was all planned. We uh, knew four cards deep. That's what ended up happening there. Season Pyromancer tokens made. Chalice on one. Living the dream and passing the turn. Probability of my opponent having a pillage. 3,000%. Extra Blast Zone. These are getting annoying. Pillage. 3,000%. Achieved. Okay, now what? Now what, opponent? Lightning Bolt Chandra, and we have a Lava Dart, and they're going to attack. Oof. Oof. They get the Chandra. Nice. They get the Chandra. Nice. Burns the Lava Dart, I assume. There it goes. All right, we have a 2-2. Two -two. <clears throat> we have a few more season pyromancer tokens to come back than they do though. So that's good for us What is Chandra anyway I'm going to attack here. I don't care about getting hit for one here at Chandra. I'm looking to close this game out Back-to-back -back Chandra is making us the bigger and better threat here Bringing our sideboards out as we have Season Pyromancers, it may be time for them to get Obosh into hand. We have five mana, which is nice if we find Karn. Tax for two here. Ooh. This does get it here. Fires Firebolt off again. Clears Chandra and attacks with the Elemental. I take one to do this. Okay. That was a line. That was a line. Let's go ahead and bring back Season Pyromancer tokens here. I'm going to hold the one mountain. Attack for two, pass the turn. Nine to 19. Land. Obosh is probably going to hand now. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Might cantrip Sunbay Canyon. They're going to remember Obosh eventually. Sunbay Canyon, cracked. And when they do, we better be prepared. Stomp Season Pyromancer and can replay the Bone Crusher Giants. All right. There's a Chalice. I guess we put this to one and just pass the turn. 
One still stops quite a few things. I can't put it on three because if I get the bridge, I don't want to be <clears throat> losing that to like a pillage in my chalice on three. My opponent finds another bone crusher giant, stomps, attacks. I have two sets of season pyromancer tokens remaining. Let's go ahead and trade with the elemental here. They'll just replay Bone Crusher here. Yeah, they never have to play Obosh. They're getting all the creatures. So there's Chandra. One, two, three, four, five. Chandra. Chandra down tick on one of these. I want to double block, but I kind of also just want to throw Chandra away to get rid of a Bone Crusher Giant. Taking eight here might not be scary if they remember Obosh, then it's going to get real scary real fast. Let's bring the Season Pyromancer tokens back this turn. <clears throat> Let's see if they remember Obosh. I'll fake blocking, but I won't actually block. I'm hoping they just forgot about Obosh, but who knows. We'll fake block here. Down to seven. Risky, I know. Lights the stage. We have a Swiss Spear and a Lightning Bolt. Both can't be cast, so this is the turn to put Obosh into hand if they do remember. They have not. They go to end step. Okay. One, two, three, four. We can play Chandra here. I'm going to go up for mana. We're going to replay the Season Pyromancer. Whoops. We're going to play Season Pyromancer here to make enough tokens to block with and pass the turn. <clears throat> They're gonna put Blast Zone up to something here as well. Hello. Puts it up to three. <clears throat> yeah, they have Obosh. <laughs> I just need to remember it's there. All right, we're gonna triple block and single block here probably. <clears throat> well, they only attack with one thing here. So we'll triple block to clear Bone Crusher. This Chandra might be just killing this Bone Crusher. Stomps away. Okay, my opponent had a, another Bone Crusher Giant. So they have Bone Crusher Giant number three that I've got to deal with. <sighs> All right, we have our own Bone Crusher Giant now. If I go up here, I put them to seven. Probably not worth it. Probably need to just down tick on one of these. Seven, play this. Shoot the seven, six, seven, six, five, play Bone Crusher Giant. Four, three. I'm thinking of Stomp and Chandra them and then play the Bone Crusher Giant. Let's go up here for damage. Let's do it. It's a ritual. That's a no. Let's go ahead and stomp them. That puts them to five. Let's bone crush our giant as well. This is a close one. And we have to block with everything here. Maybe they'll get like, oh, I can blow up the bone crusher giant. And then boom, all of them die. <laughs> you know, things could happen. They're at five. They've forgotten about Obosh. Obosh doesn't exist for them. This is close. I don't think it would be as close if they remember this card. May also not be as close if I would have all blocked in at the bone. Well, I think things would be the same. All right, we're gonna attack me probably, yes. So chump block and obviously trade here. 
We need a bridge, but then the blast zone's here too. So I'm not sure we have an out. Oh my gosh. We can tie the game. <laughs> Do I have any other out here? I could just kill their, their Bone Crusher Giants, but then they blast zone me. Do we want to tie this game or do we want to go for a win? I mean, I guess if I find a bridge, if I find a bridge, I can put it at three. Bone Crusher Giants can't kill me necessarily. <laughs> I mean, we do kind of have an out, right? It's got to be bridge off the top, slag storm, then just emblem and win. I guess we go up here and see if I spike a bridge to make things really interesting. So up, we don't. They move this up to four. By moving this up to four, we would lose Chandra. Uh, a tie would just make us go to another game. I think we go for the tie. <laughs> Three damage to each player. Let's go to game number four. Should go to game number four. It's a draw. Good game. It's a draw. <laughs> What were we drawing? Another chalice. That could have made things interesting. And a Karn. I don't know. I don't know. We could have, like, blown this up. We would have lost this. We'd have chalice that I would be able to put on three. And then we'd have to find Chandra. But if they remembered Obosh, we'd die. So let's go to the sideboard. It's a tie! <laughs> um, I don't think I'd change anything. I just run it back. You've never seen that before? Yeah, match isn't best of three. We play first. They're like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Ooh, 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 okay, keep. I like this hand. I like this. Valakut tapped. This is exactly why I want to play this. Gives me enough lands that I should be able to Rabble Master or Chandra there pretty quickly. I like this. Put this into play. Nice, nice, nice. All right, here I Hand looks pretty good. We can Chalice. We can Chandra. We can do it all. Swift Spear. Ha! What a joke. What a joke. All right. Chalice, number one. Go ahead, opponents. No one's ever seen it. Welcome to the stream, getting to see new and fresh things. Opponent attacks for one. All right, lights the stage. They find Mountain Firebolt. Okay. Firebolt's me, does nothing. Countered. Oh my gosh, I have a braid. We're going to Ritual out Chandra, Uptick, and a braid. Three damage. Go ahead, opponent. You've got that three mana. What are you going to do with that three mana? You going to pillage this? You going to pillage this? What are you gonna do with that? Dang it. They pillaged it. <laughs> Who cares about pillage when you're about to smash their face with Rabble Master tokens? Ah. Good luck, opponents. Fear the Chandra. Fear all the tokens. What do you got? What do you got? Bolts, Rabble Master number one. Lava Darts, Rabble Master number two. Sac Lava Darts, Rabble Master number two. And Bomats us. Wow. Aggressive opponent. Aggressive. I love it. All right. We have a land here. We have a Chandra. We could down tick here. They could double Lava Dart. There's a lot of damage that didn't come to my face there. That was good. Killing Bomat might not be a bad idea here. We could also defend Bomat if it attacks. Lava Dart, Lava Dart would get rid of this. Hmm. I think I want to kill Bomat. The extra card here is just too much. We're going in for damage with the goblins. 
They had everything covered. That's fine. They had to burn all kinds of stuff on it. Let's attack with the goblins. Let's give them the option to double lava dart here, losing two lands. Fifth land. That was fun. That was fun. You're all having fun, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Get all Obosh for the lore. They firebolt Chandra. They spend five to do so. Cool. We'll hold this land here for funsies. Attack for two past the turn. All right. This game's going to come down to whoever top decks first. Swiss Spear. Uh-oh. Lava darts me. Uh-oh. Lava lights the stage. Mountain fire... Lightning bolt, lava dart. Oh my gosh, we're dying. We're dying. Down to 14. This is four. Maybe they lava dart one more time. Oh my gosh, we're dying. Down to 10, it looks like. It's a good turn for them. Good turn. We're finding lands. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. I need to defend. I need to defend. We made a tie here playing against Prowess. This has been quite the whirlwind of a game. We are flooding a little. Oh, they remembered Obosh. They have now put Obosh into hand. I'm going to double block here and see if they want to burn a Lava Dart. For me, if they could be so kind to do that. Cool. Burning the Lava Dart means it's not going to do a lot of damage with Obosh. Oh my gosh, they have Bomat too? Oh my gosh. Do I deserve all these lands? You bet I do. Up to eight lands. The opening hand was so gassed too, and they, they got there with the Pillage. Pillage is the winner of this game. Nice land. Nice land, Fluffy. It did take them off the fifth land, which is buying us turn, but it's not going to buy us much. Soul Scar Mage. Swift Spear. Slagstorm wouldn't be a bad draw here. At least I've chosen the best mountain art. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Well, we have an out. Chandra uptick slag storm. This is our out. This is our only out. Let's make it an out. Uptick slag storm. Nice ritual. Nice ritual. Well, if my opponent doesn't have a spell, we have one more turn. Oh my gosh, they're attacking me. Oh my gosh, we're alive still, only briefly. I'm at one, I'm at one, I'm alive still. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're just playing with my heart now. Uptick with Chandra. Season Pyromancer. Oh, they're just playing with me. Make some tokens. Oh my gosh, I found the Slag Storm. And I have the Chalice on one. Oh my gosh! Chalice on one. Don't slow roll me. Thank you. And we slag storm now because otherwise I die. Three damage to all creatures. They're gonna bow mat. They bow mat. They got rid of an Obosh and a Shattering Spree. Creatures are gone. Chandra's at six. Pillaging away Chalice. Hold. No. <laughs> uh, there's an anger. Oh, apparently. Apparently we're just going to get Lance. <laughs> it was close. It was close. All right. We're currently 3-1. Let's get this final one under, under the played. Under the what? Under nothing. We were close.
All right, Zale, thanks. Have a good one. You got to see a tie. That's always fun, right? Let's see if we can get that 401 and the note. And the, the night, not the note, and the night on a high. Hoping so. Had some stream troubles. Thank you all for sticking with us. Gonna hopefully get those ironed out for this weekend. Rip, flood. Yeah, we flooded a lot, actually. But we got to experience the tie. That's what it's about. The tie. Let's go. Final match. It was an entertaining, entertaining match. We need to remember that. All right, we're 3-1. My opponent's 2-0. Trying to get that 4-1. Ending the note on a high. Let's go. We're going to keep this. It's a Luris opponent. We have a Chalice on curve. We have a bridge to protect us. We have a Rabble Master in case they're not creatures. Opponent mulligans to six. All right, Marsh Flats to kick things off here. We'll probably go get a non-basic. Oh, ooh. Sagarda's Aid and Memnite. Sweet. All right. This list, we go ahead and put Chalice on zero and pass turn. We're putting Chalice on zero because Ornithopter is the only thing that matters here. Fingers crossed, no double Colossus Hammer. If we can do that, we can get the bridge down. We may be okay. We might be playing Rabble Master first to create a blocker. Fingers crossed here. Let's see what we got. Chalice on zero is better here. Steel Shapers, they're gonna they're gonna hammer us. We're gonna bridge them. We got this. We got this. Watch hammer time. Bam. They think they're smart. They think they got us. Nah, we got you, opponent. We got you. Hits us for a bunch. Ritual, bridge, go. No ornithopter for you. Now I just gotta empty the hand and we'll win. We just lost a Prowess. Prowess is a tough matchup. And we went to game four. Steel Shapers. What you gonna go get with this? What you gonna go get with this? Feeling pretty good against the Hammer Time. <laughs> Switch boots. I like this. We're gonna get Laris down? Is that what we're gonna do? I like this. Swift boots. What's that doing? <laughs> I love it. Oh, there's a season pyromancer. Probably want to ditch that versus a rabble master. So season pyromancer. We're gonna actually get rid of the ramming out ruins and the rabble master here, trying to keep desperate ritual to help us empty the hand. These aren't very good cards. <laughs> uh oh. All right, we're doing all right though. There's another cigar to Zade. That's fine. We find our lands. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll play Rabble Master here past turn. We'll make a token. It'll run itself in. I guess we'll attack with everything. Why not? Why not? Uh, no, they're not necessarily locked out, though. I don't know how they're getting around the cha the bridge. I don't know how they're getting around the bridge, honestly. They'd have to have a main deck answer to this. There's a pure steel paladin. That'll be a nice one to kill with Slagstorm. I guess we're going to do this. Um, Actually, let's attack with everything and then Slagstorm. Just get a little more damage in here before we clear our hand out. I don't see if we're got any way that we lose this though. The Chalice on zero is super important here. And the reason it's super important is because my opponent can try to get something like a um, Ornithopter, an Ornithopter and then a few hammers in the sky can kill us. My opponent might be looking for Ink Moth Nexus, which is fine. We're about to empty our hand here. And once we're emptied out here, I 
I just don't see how they get back. Maybe they'll just be waiting for us to play a win condition, which will be Chandra Karn at this point. F6 button. Here we go. <laughs> but like I said, I don't I don't think they have a way out of this. We'll see though. We'll see. Maybe maybe they have a main deck answer to bridge. Getting another bridge would be nice. Extra ink moth here. Let's go ahead and set the chalice now to one. And then we'll set the next one to two. Maybe they have Skyclaves? Maybe they do. Maybe they do. I definitely don't want to put a Chalice on three because I'd prefer to get another bridge. We don't want to put it on two because we have things like Torp Orb. The thing is that Skyclave is going to be super hard to have because of Luris, but I mean, you know, maybe maybe Magic Online's a little broken. So Stoneforge Mystic here. We'll see what they go get. Stoneforge, by the way, is a nice way to get around Chalice. If you're playing Hammer and you're trying to get around Chalices, get your Stoneforge, you get to uh, get your Hammer in through Stoneforge activation and not have to worry about a Chalice. So that's kind of like cool. There's a Shadow Sphere. Exactly. They're not getting anything that threatens to kill us. Um... I mean, I guess I'd, I don't want to. I don't want to risk anything. Don't let me confuse you. I think we have them hard locked out of the game. I think I just need to play magic. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. I, I could be wrong. With the meta widening out here, this would be the opportunity where my opponent goes... Ah, yes, but I have this. And you did not see that because I play premium magic. Can I get a Chandra, please? I think, I honestly think they were just waiting for a win condition. We're playing lands, they're playing whatever they're gonna do here. They'll use the Swiss Spear here to bring in the Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear is kind of cool because now I don't have chump blockers anymore. Maybe they have a way to get rid of Bridge and they kill us with a 22 22 life linking trample, big colossal hammer dude. Who knows? Who knows? Mountain's not the winning line here. We'll pass. And back and forth. Gemstone Caverns, definitely not the winning line. Pass. They give it back to us. We top deck a Blood Moon. That seems reasonable. We'll play that. Now Ink Moth Nexus is shut off. Have I considered not drawing lands? But they're so pretty. Don't you like them? Look at how pretty they are. Look, Gemstone Caverns number four. Feels good. Feels good. Basically the last three draws. Seasoned into double season into Karn. I'm just going to get rid of this. Pass the turn. We have almost enough mana that if I draw a Season Pyromancer, we're pretty safe. We're not completely safe, though. we got to be careful about that. There is Chandra. We might get a concession. We might. We'll see. Uptick for damage pass turn. Do we get it now? And before gemstone number five. Chandra should be lethal. Yes, it is. Nice. All right. I wonder what they bring in to ruin us. <clears throat> All right. Magus of the Moon can come in here. Pillages can come in. Anger and Kozlix are a maybe. We really don't need these season pyromancers in this matchup. Things get really awkward with that. We like Chalice, Bridge, obviously. Valakut's fine as our 23rd, 22nd land. Rabble Master's okay as a potential win condition, although if they put lifelink on something, that could be a problem. So let's try to play without Rabble Master. If we do without Rabble Master, we have all this. Probably can just slam in a Torp Orb here. I'd probably be happy with that. I want to be able to fetch the Walking Ballista with Karn. I want to be able to fetch a new Torpor with Karn. Skelman, or Spyglass. Damping Matrix, those are fine. I like the bridge and the sideboard as well. So we're going to keep this. We're going to have just a lot of removal pieces. We'll see how it works out for us. I agree. It's going to be disenchants. It might be Thought Seizes. It could be all kinds of weird things like that. So... 
We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This opening is nice, except for the one lander. We're going to mulligan this, looking for at least two landers. Keeping in mind, mulligans are actually decent here. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind mulliganing into a bridge. Would be happy with that. Definitely going to get rid of this one, though. This one's a little harder to get rid of. It has a braid, which is excellent. Torpor, excellent. Chalice, which is excellent. Magus, which is excellent. I mean, it's this has, like, everything. Do we just throw away a potential here for a pretty nutty hand if I draw a land? You bet. Keep. Give her a Chandra. We got this. We got this. They're just going to thought seize us. They'll be like, you played garbage. We'll be like, nah, we're good. All right. Chalice number one goes on zero. Since I drew another one, pass the turn. We do need something here. They do have the Ornithopter. They got that down pretty quick here. Got a little Ink Moth here as well. Things are looking a little scary, but my opponent's only got three cards in their hand. There's a Cranial Plating. That's kind of nasty. Tax for one. Land. Ugh. All right. Pass the turn. We need, like, one land to unlock this. One land to unlock this craziness. We can do it. Two mana. What are we doing? Stoneforge? Oh, it feels so bad to see a Stoneforge with this Torp Orb in hand. Yeah, you untap that. Just attach this. Equip one to Ornithopter. Yeah. Three, four. Smack me. Five. Nice. Well played. Five damage. Cool. Land. Oh, no. What is this? Magic. Extra Ornithopter countered. Well, that was their draw, so they're probably going to do something similar here. Oh my gosh, Squatch Heath coming in with a massive raid. There's a hammer. Oh no. We're just boosting. What's up, Squatch Chief? How's it going? Oh, we found the land. Oh my gosh, we found the land. Oh my gosh, we're alive. Okay. Let's pass the turn again. We're going to use the Abrade to kill the Ornithopter that's going to attack us. How's your night been, Squatchies? Oh my gosh, Steel Sapers, we're gonna die. We go get a Shadow Spear. Oh my gosh. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the Ornithopter, because it's flying. We'll take the extra one here. I can play Magus, or I can abrade again. I think we go ahead and abrade one more time here, because I happen to draw the abrade. No, I don't think the plating, because I have these bridges I'm working towards, and the Ornithopter being an O2, if they get Sigarda's aid here, and then they end up getting like a Colossal Hammer or something, I'm just not not about that. Bobble gets countered here. Chalice doing a lot of work. I want to see them waste the turn attaching things again. We'll take our one point off Ramming Out Ruins. Activate this, activate this, activate this. Activate. It's lethal. It's lethal. <laughs> Twiz... Motron and Dark Liquid Jeans, thank you so much for the follows. My opponent's attacking us for lethal. We are alive, though. Destroy target artifact. Goodbye, Memnites. All right. Land would be excellent. We do find a land. All right. We can stop Sigarda's aid here which is probably okay to do with a chalice on one. If we get another land, we're going to get infected a little bit. What? Let's see. Pure steel pal land, pure steel paladin. Attach, attach, attach. We can worry about that. I think I like the chalice on one here. Followed by potentially Magus. There's no reason to do Ritual yet. I have four mana converted mana cost things. 
Ritual, Chalice, and Orb. Oh boy, Stoneforge. I could have I could have Torp Orb and Ritual Chalice. I'm worried about drawing a four drop if I'm really honest. There's a Swift Boots. All right, so we have a Stone Forge I've got to deal with now. See, here we go. Four drop paid off. We're looking real good now. We Chandra. We get rid of the creature. They can boot up Ink Moth to kill this. That's fine. We're working our way towards Bridge. Here comes Ink Moth. Got to got to be able to cast those four drops. They're they're too big. All right, Chandra's down. I'm going to play Magus next, risking another Stoneforge here, but the Magus turns off Ink Moth. There's another Stoneforge, speaking of. Whoa. Land, though, I do get to play Bridge and Orb, which wouldn't be a bad thing at this point. What's your next thing you're going to get, opponent? Paradise Mantle, countered. <laughs> countered. All right. Uh, three drop. Best thing to do here. We'll play bridge. We'll pass turn. My opponent can hook up one, but not both of these right now. I need a land here. They make it a two, three trample life linking creature. If I block here, if I block, what's what do we have here? Next turn, two, three, four, five. But this is hooked up now. They can't attach and get me if I have the bridge down. So do I take the two here, go to three? If I do that, this is played. I think I take this because I think having Magus here stopping Ink Moth is good because I need a few turns to empty the hand still. Needing land or ritual spell. Need a land or a ritual spell here. Magnetic theft. Then they then they got me. All right, we end up finding Chandra here. Chandra down tick once again, killing Stoneforge. Go ahead, opponent. I'm not going to attack. I'm afraid of some weird hasty thing I'm not thinking of. Chandra was a great draw. Luris is currently offline due to the Magus as well, which is a good thing. I don't want repeats. Plays Swift Boots here. Nice, 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 nice. Three mana, pillage away the planes here. Let's play Torp Orb. Now I feel like I can attack. Let's go. Oh, let's close this game out. Let's close this one out. Let's get that 4-1. Getting the lock all nice. Tucking in our opponent. Sending them to prison. <laughs> Slagstorm. Oh, we can get close to tying the game at some point. All right. Um, let's just get kind of more things out of hand here. We'll play bridge. We'll attack for two. We'll then play Blood Moon. There you go. A struggle indeed, but we managed to squeak it out. They have to have something mainboard for this bridge. Let's go up for damage here. Uh, let's be sure we attack, because we need to make sure this game ends quickly. We'll play an extra Blood Moon, pass the turn. Looking good. Looking good. Land. <laughs> Damage. Desperate Ritual's a no-go. Attack for two here. Play the land past the turn. There we go. Hey, thank you for the follow. 2-2 two, two beats to avenge Simeon Spirit Guide. Exactly. Gray monkey in play. <laughs> it's a gray monkey. I'm getting it done.
damage. It's a ritual. Attack for two. Swing. Land. Pass turn. Rest in peace, spirit guide. You will be remembered. 4-1 with prison here in modern. Getting it done with the post. Simeon spirit guide ban. Here's our list so far. We're working on it. Flushing it out. It's going to need some adjustments, obviously. You don't take a hit like that and not get into something where you've got to change a few things up. But hey, we're doing just fine. We've got an extra land here we're playing around with. I uh, initially had four rituals. We've already cut one. Playing that Rabble Master again. Getting back to the 2018 styles of Red Prison. It was close. We ended up taking the prowess list to a tie and had to go to another game. And it was close there too. Flooded out maybe a little bit. But hey, we might have had a potential win if we would have gotten rid of the Bone Crusher Giants. Tough to say. Opponent could have found a pillage and gotten out of that one. You never know. But hey, it's a sweet list. We did some crazy things here tonight. We're playing Red Prison. We're going to get that 5-0. I can feel it. We're just around the corner from it. Hooch, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Appreciate that. You glad to see that prison is just fine without it? It is just fine without it. A little bit slower. I think against that um, that list, we, we ended up choosing to go ahead and do the tie route. Maybe if we go... For the slag storm there, killing the bone crusher giants, maybe we have an out there. Obviously, they have the blast zone that gets rid of Chandra, and we're kind of worried about where that would lead. We're definitely a contender, though. Red Prison's still here. Don't worry about the ban. Things will change. This is what we're at right now, and we'll get that 5-0.